In this box is the Digital Bolex. I've waited, uh, wow, a long time for this one. I'm not sure if I'm the very first person to receive the Bolex, but um, I know my camera number is uh, Serial 5, but anyway, just came to the doorstep and uh, not gonna waste any more time. Gonna cut it right open. Digital Bolex logo right there. All right, so right away you can see uh, on the front, Digital Bolex branding says <laughs> includes free wrist strap. Wow, feels quite heavy. It's a good thing though, I like it. Pistol grip right there. It's like power adapters, uh, USB 3 cord right there. You got the wrist strap as well, video cable. And then uh, some coupons for the future uh, uh, lens mount releases and that sort of thing. Oh, cool. And also it comes with a, a license key for light, uh, light post. You can tell the camera's got some heft. Probably a little heavier than my C100, which I'm recording this video with. 360 view of the camera. So on the camera, we have the uh, three XLR ports and then the four pin XLR, uh, HDM on the side. The hot shoe is mounted uh, horizontally. Uh, and then there's also a top mount um, hot shoe. The screen right there, got the kind of a D-pad buttons, power button record, display menu. There's two knobs on the side, I'm not sure what those do. Um, and the crank, and the crank right there. Just comes out. So it looks like it just. Uh, hmm. Okay, so you just line it up and then twist it in like that. So there's an actual trigger for recording on the stock. I don't know if you can see that on the stock right there. Um, wow, it feels pretty solid. Um, yeah, aluminum construction really um, adds to it. I like it. Got the two two CF card slots right there, and then um, the USB 3 slot as well. The strap looks pretty cool. You can see it has a, let me get that focus. It's got some nice kind of orangish stitching on it. I think the pistol grip is, <laughs> is pretty darn cool. Um, I mean, obviously you probably wouldn't be just filming um, in this kind of configuration, but I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say it's horribly uh, ergonomic. I mean, it's not designed necessarily to be um, handheld all the time in this sort of setup, but uh, it could be, it could be doable, I'd say. All right, so you can see the, uh, the menu right there. It's got um, audio levels, shows the bit rate of the audio. How much, the, how much of the SSD is used, and then also that it's charging, and then it shows, uh, that's nice, it shows a readout um, percentage-wise, kind of like an iPhone would. So there's image, which has uh, all the basic adjustments that you would need. Frames per second, resolution, format, ISO, shutter, white balance. Um, we've got sound. Uh, so looks like you can choose the bit rate. Uh, mic, and then you can format the, uh, under data, you can format the SSD if you'd like, you can copy the data, okay, so the copy mode, so when you uh, transfer to your computer over USB 3, and then crank, you can adjust um, what the crank does, then display, LCD brightness, uh, icons, LED, Blah, 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 HDMI out. And then the settings, the time, all that kind of stuff. Um, so you can choose if you would like the fans to go during recording. And then you can see if you scroll through the, if you press the display button there, uh, you can scroll through. Um, it is nice that the, the center portion um, of the screen is only for the image and then, so they can use these bottom parts for 
um, the icons and display that sort of stuff. It's not a. It's not a. Mm, can't tell if it's a plastic or it has almost somewhat of a matte. Uh, somewhat of a matte touch to it. Only thing I would say is this crank right here. Can you hear that? It kind of. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like it's totally flush. It seems to be. Um, it seems to scrape a little bit against the aluminum on the side. So I'll show you guys powering on and how long that uh, takes. All right, so just pressed it. You can see the white screen pops on first. Sorry, it's hard to hold it in this position. You see the Digital Bolex logo right there? Come on. And there it is. So yeah, let me know if there's anything you guys would like me to uh, shoot specifically. And I, I'm planning on putting some tests up um, sometime this week, hopefully. Overall, I'd say uh, I like it so far. It's nice that the body is so um, compact so you can, I mean, really this would be great on a shoulder mount, that sort of thing. You can build it up. Um, so yeah, thanks for taking the time to uh, watch this. I know it was just a quick unboxing video, but I wanted to give you guys a kind of a look at um, the new Bolex, and I, I cannot wait to shoot with it.